Hi guys, welcome back. It's Jaleesa and I'm back with another video. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it so you'll never miss another upload. And if you're not new, welcome back. So in this video, I went to Ulta yesterday and I purchased a beautiful palette that I just could not do without. And it is the Morphe 35M Boss Mood Palette. Oh, this palette is so gorgeous, guys. I absolutely loved it. I had so much fun playing in this palette. I'm just going to show it to you right here. It has about, I believe, 14 to 16 shimmer shades. Um, over here is where I played around in. And oh my gosh, guys. I am so loving how this look turned out. I don't know what to do with myself, but this is the palette, and I think it was about $24 at Ulta, so please run out and get this palette. It is so pretty. I think I'm going to do a, um, the reason, first of all, the reason I got this palette was because of these green and olive shades right in this area, and of course this, um, orange quad right here, but the whole palette is just beautiful. I know I raved about the Jaclyn Hill palette, but oh my gosh, guys, this one right here, and this is number three on my Fall Glam series. So if you like this look as much as me already, go ahead right now and give this video a big thumbs up. I love you, babes, and mwah. So I'm going to go into this shade right here, and it's called Fired Up. Go into this shade right here just to um, kind of make it a gradient type of effect. And this is called Red Carpet.
So for primer, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. So for foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the color 360 Mocha. Friday, but look at that. I'm going to, hold on. Alright, I'm going to mix this foundation with my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 335 Classic Tan because it's, it's not adding up right now. Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. blush palette and I'm going to mix these two bottom shades right here for blush. So for highlighter, I think I'm going to go back um, to something that I used to use and I really need to start back using it. I've been sleeping on it. It is the Laura Geller. Gilded Honey Highlighter. I'm gonna take my Morphe M501 brush. Contact and it just makes it blurry and everything. So 
I've just been trying to stay away from doing that and um, for like an alternate I just use shadow on my lash line so I'm gonna use this black magic color which is basically just black and do that I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes and liner on off camera and as always I'll be back for the lift why is my under eye tripping so bad why do you hate me under eye why I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with this Rimmel London Stay Matte Fix and Go Spray. It says two in one primer and setting spray. Okay. Shine control, locks and makeup, quick dry, all free. So for my lips, I'm going to use my NYX lip pencil in Downtown Beauty. My NYX butter gloss in the color Madeline. I'm going to use my matte lip pencil in chestnut to kind of go around the edges and make it a little bit darker, I guess. 